have Mr. Hammond Scott, who's the man behind Blacktop Records, which operates out of his uptown apartment. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad to be here. Well, thank you, Ernie. I'm very glad to be here. I hear you have a brand new record. Well, Tell yeah, us about that. Well, I'm recording now under my manager, uh, Mr. Cleon Floyd, uh, through CBS Record Company. But my new record is going to be on Epic's Epic label. And uh, what is this record now? What's it called? Well, one side of it is Don't You Let Me Down. Don't no man in the world want his lady to let him down at no time. Uh, for no reason, for no person or uh, whatever. It hurts a real man to have his lady to let him down. So I thought I'd write a song about this. You know what I'm saying? And then the other side of it is, is Burn Cato Burn. Mr. Monaga High Duh himself. The name of the record is Burn Cato Burn. And uh, what it's all about is about my personal life, where my mother's from, where my father is from. You know, and and that's what made everybody out in Hollywood flip, because the record never has been recorded in that particular way, saying about his own personal life. Let's get this straight now. About you have Naugahyde and Monaugahyde. Now, what's the difference? Well, Naugahyde. The word Naugahyde is in Webster Dictionary. That's a piece of leather. But Monaugahyde the is not even much in the dictionary at all. And you can search through the dictionary, you would never find Monaugahyde the. Monaugahyde the means, and I have the dictionary because I'm a charity hospital baby. It comes from Millie Jackson to do your version of 2-2. Uh, every woman in the world today, and she can stand up today and stand up and raise her hand above her head and say these words, that I am what I am. If I want any man out there to have my tutu, now a tutu might be a kisses, a hugging, or what have you. What is a tutu? Let's get uh, Well, I don't want to get off into that. Well, I, I don't asked, want to get off into well, that. Well, let me tell you this. I asked Sidney, what is a tutu? I thought you were going to the wife. He said, anything that you think it is. <laughs> See, everybody got their own version of what a tutu is, and whatever you think a tutu is, that's what it is. And that's the original man. Yeah, but you see, what, what Rocker Sidney didn't understand, Rocker Sidney was going towards itself. Because uh, you got a whole lot of writers like Quincy Jones, Alan Toussaint, uh, uh, Dave Bartholomew, yours truly, Ernie Cato, uh, 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 several of us done passed on, like Joe Tex. Uh, we get involved into different things. And tutu mean one thing. I cannot tell no man or no woman what to do at no time or place. They have to make up their own mind. Right, right. Now, if that's what you want to do with your tutu, that's your... <laughs> now, what you call it, that's your personal business. <laughs> and what do you have...